let you go. Hey there, friends. It's me, Stacy. How are you today? Okay, super excited. It's been a hot minute. So, hey there, hey there. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I went live, you guys. But that's in the past, and here we are today. I am live today. And, um, okay, I don't know what it's doing. I'm not going to bother with you. We invited Instagram to the group. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be sharing some tips with you today on how to grow online, grow your presence online, whether you're simply looking to expand your network, whether you are looking to build online business wise, um, this live is for you. So feel free to share this out. Um, I've said it before when I do share these tips with you, it is not company or profession or at this point platform specific. Um, we do have TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram, and pretty soon we will have YouTube because the replays are on YouTube. So hey there, friends. So share this out. We do have a weekly Facebook live share giveaway. So if you are on Facebook, you can type um, or share this out, then come back, comment shared to be entered into our weekly giveaway. That's all you got to do. If you're not on Facebook, hop on over there. It's the same as all my socials at Simply Stacy TX. Okay. So if you're catching me live, you can drop a live below. And if you are catching the replay, do a favor for me and type my story matters. And you can say it while you type it. My story matters. Cause the simple fact is friend is your story does matter. Oh, there's always something I forgot to turn off. One moment, please. Please silence your phones. Anywho. So yes, there is power in our stories, you guys. And if you are not sharing your stories at this point, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to start sharing it because if you're not, you are missing out, friends. You are missing out on connecting with other people and ultimately you're missing out on finding your people. And if you are looking to expand your network, if you are looking to build online, there is a high importance in connecting with others and finding your people. Is there not? If you agree, you can type yes below. Okay, so got to follow my notes. Oh, why is that important? I did put this. I'll tell this to you, right? So the importance behind that is if you want people to follow you, if you want them to buy from you, if you want them to work with you, if you want them to refer you out, even if they don't need your product, but they know someone that does, then you definitely want them to like, know, and trust you. I have said this before. And the easiest way to do that is by sharing your story, regardless of how you share it, whether you do it through live video like this, whether you put it in your stories, whether you, what's the other one? Make a simple post, whether you're doing reels or TikToks, however you're doing it, get your story out there, friends. So number one, are you ready? Why your story matters. So it's not because um, it's Hollywood worthy or it's this rich to rag story or it's a story that has never been told before and everyone just has to hear it. It's simply because it's your story, friend. It's your story. And bottom line, you're not alone. I don't know if you've ever felt alone. If you have, you can say yes <laughs> below again. I felt alone. Like you're going through something. Some of the hardest chapters in my life I've been going through and then you feel like you're alone and then you find out the second you share it that someone's like, you know what, me too. I've been there. Or you find someone else like, what? They went through that too? So you are not alone, friend. But the majority of the time, we don't know that because we don't hear other people sharing their stories. Or we're not sharing our stories that call these people to connect with us. So I wrote down notes and I'm already going off of it. <laughs> I did men mention chapters. This is kind of like a shift uh, more to the connection part of it. But chapters, yes, chapters like a book because I highly believe that we go through seasons, we go through chapters, we have this whole life story, but that's not something you definitely wanna start with. <laughs> but instead, if you are growing online, if you wanna share your story, I say share that chapter. Share that chapter that helps you connect with that other person. You don't even have to share the whole chapter. You can do a little bit. The next time you share your story, share a little bit more and it builds and it builds and it builds because on that connection part, it's gonna have people coming back. They want to know the rest of the story because they've already fell in love with the first chapter. I want to hear the second one, the third, the fourth, the sequels, everything, right? So let's bring it back. Okay. So number two, why you should share your stories. We all have similarities more so than we have differences. There's always something you can connect with. I don't know if you've noticed that. 
That is one of the like characteristics that I love about me. You can stick me in a room with anybody and I will find something to connect with. I will. Um, but we will never know that if we don't share our stories. I kind of already went on that. So how do we connect with people? We start sharing our stories. Share that little bit. Share a chapter. Stop. This is number three. Stop waiting for XYZ to share your story. Whatever that XYZ story is, if you're like, um, you're growing your business, you don't want to share the startup. You want to share when you're awesome. No, friends. Share the startup. Share the bad days. Share the good days. And again, I always say this. This is your page, however you are presenting it. Share what you want to. You don't have to share everything, but share what you want to. Just know that when you do share, that's what people are going to connect to. And that's why it needs to be your story, not anybody else's, right? Um, even in the darkness, people are where you are, and they need to know that they can not only survive this chapter of their life, but they can also do it thriving. Oh, that's a big one. Because like I mentioned before, the, some of the hardest chapters in my life, I didn't know anyone else that went through it. And it wasn't until I shared my story that I started to find these people and things that I didn't know if I could get through, they had already been through or things that I've already been through, they were going through and we're able to connect that way. And it doesn't have to be a sad story. It could be a happy story too, right? This is why people say, Hey, has anybody ever gone here? Tell me where you've been. It doesn't necessarily have to be a bad or a hardship or anything like that. Okay. Number four, until we realize that our story matters, at every single step, we're missing out on impact. We really are. Because I think one of the hardest things is, um, especially when you work online, is the comparison, right? We all know it's a highlight reel, but we still compare. Their highlight reel looks better than my highlight reel. But the fact of the matter is we just see the good. We see their highs because it is a highlight reel. Do we want to put the bad on there? Not all the time. Sometimes we do. But when we don't, when we don't start show the beginning then we start looking at the end and we see where we are because we're just starting and their end and we start comparison when you truly want to connect to someone when you want to make that impact you're going to show them the process it's all about the process the journey right the steps that you took and i don't know about you because um i'm gonna say this first so my key point to that is when you you're missing out on healing ourselves through sharing our story there is a lot of power of healing in your story, friend. And I I could go, whoa, whoa, we could go, whoa. Anyways, we're going to bring it back. We're going to keep it short and sweet. Um, when you tell your story, you go through a process. When you share your story, you're bringing them through their process. And whether it's a health journey, whether it's a recovery journey, whether it's a healing journey, whether you're building your house from scratch, <laughs> you're DIYing, flipping your house, whatever it is, People want to see that. And to me, one of the biggest things on that is that you're able to look back and see the growth that you've taken. Well, on those days that you do feel bad and you don't think anything has ever changed, then Facebook says, hey, a year ago you were here and you can see that change. It's the same thing when people are following your story. So maybe they don't see you from day one and they come into your story two years later on. But because you were sharing your story from day one or whatever day you are on start, now, if you're not, <laughs> they can go back and they can see what those days look like for you leading up to where you are today. Because I don't know about you, but when I find people and they're like, um, I don't know, we'll use the flipping house, right? When you come into somebody's story and you see like they're halfway through, I don't know about you, but I binge the story. Like I go back, I want to see the beginning and do, 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 and I will binge it. And when you find your people, they will want to do that too. And this is what truly forgot to turn off another device. <laughs> Anywho, um, it is truly what helps them to connect to you and it's going to make them feel like they know you. Because I don't know about you, I feel like I know a bunch of people online we've never even met. It gives off that feeling, right? Okay. Um, don't miss out on opportunities to give others hope through their story. I think that is a big one. Like I said, it doesn't always have to be the hardships, but when you are going through something hard and someone else can relate to that, and see that you've come out on the other end, it does give hope. And if anything, woo, we could use a little hope these days. I don't know about you, but working on social media, it's kind of dark right now. So I try to shine some light out for you. So hopefully it's a bright place when you come here. So last one, number five, why your story matters, friends. 
is because we are turning our mess, what looks like our mess, to our message. I know when we are living it, it seems boring. It seems like same in and out, in and out, because we are living it, but to others, it has a message in it and you all have a story to tell. So if you're not telling it, why not start telling it? Because bottom line, friends, there's a lot of bottom lines here. <laughs> Life is happening for you. It is not to you. Once you have that mindset, your message will flow freely. It is going to be your story. Like I said, tell it in little chapters, give them a little bit more and a little bit more, and they will keep coming back. It will help you to build those connections so that you build your network online. It will help you to build those connections that you build um, a good rapport with people who may not even want your business or your product, but when they know someone that does need it, they are going to refer you out. It brings them back to like knowing and trusting you and wanting to work with you regardless of what you have to offer. So friends, that is all I have for you today on your story matters. If you did get value out of this, I want you to drop the word value below. And like I said before, share this out with a friend that could use the good word. If your notifications, or let's back that up. If you're not already following, be sure to follow for more. Definitely tap on your notifications because I'll never know truly when I will go live. But if you have your notifications set on, it will let you know. Or you could do the next best thing, which is sign up for my Telegram alerts. They are in my bio and I try, I try. It's a new thing. I tried to put, um, when I'm going live before I go live. So you are the first to know and you can get in on these shared giveaways. So friends, that is all I have for you today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you the next time I go live. Bye you guys.